Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So I've been uh, rummaging through uh, older comments looking for uh, tutorial ideas and I found one from um, Mine Gato or Gato or something and he or she asks uh, when I run I want a key to sprint how do I do that? and uh, that's not too hard so I thought we could do that today so I've opened a first person template it's always nice to know that we start with the same settings and this is the Unreal version 4.10 now, let's locate the first person or character blueprint. First person character blueprint. <laughs> this is where the magic will happen. Well, sort of. First, we gotta go up to edit and then project settings, and we will set a key to press. So, go to input and then action mappings click the plus sign and call this sprint and for the key I guess the classic one is keyboard shift uh, lift shift and of course if you would like you could add another one and take a gamepad and you know choose one of those if you want to run with your gamepad but I'm not gonna do that now so when this is done then just go back out and save and then back into the character blueprints now simply right click and search for sprints and we will have it as a newly created action event so click that next right click and uncheck context sensitive then search for character movement get character movement then drag this out and search for set max walk speed and create two of this so control C control V Now connect this to both of these targets and connect the first one to the pressed and the second one, the released one, to the last one. Okay, so um, this will override the default uh, walk speed. So on the released I will set the walk speed that I want my character to have and we can try like 500 and we will let uh, max walk speed the sprint just be zero for now and then we will see that and then remember to compile and save and go back out and play so this is how quick 500 is and if you if you push shift now you will stop because it's set to zero so this is an instant stop button so at least it works. So we can go back and then set max walk speed to, I don't know, let's try 1000. So the player will run twice as fast as he walks. Let's see. Press shift and I run. Stop, it's normal, and run. And if you want to be crazy, you can take 1500. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, now that's some real running right there. Boom. Yeah, if I can steer. So that's how easy it is. But we're gonna, you know, regular uh, or usually in games when you run, you you can't run forever because the player will get tired. Well, not in all games. Sonic, for example, won't get tired. He will just get more pumped. But if you want to make it so that your player character will get tired, then you can drag this out and create a delay. And then you will set 
the delay for as many seconds as you want the player to be able to run. So let's say for this tutorial sake, three seconds. And then when that those three seconds are done, you will connect this to the lower one. So let's see now. Run, run, and then I stop after three seconds. So what you can do now is uh, drag this delay, drag out this node, and then take a print string and write, you know, I'm tired, or probably more correct, I'm exhausted. Oh my God, I'm so exhausted. Like this. Let's see if it works. Running. And then boom, I'm exhausted. Now, you know, you could create this text as an UMG element and then just use one of my UMG tutorials to learn how to print an UMG element to the screen. screen. So I don't need to show you that now. Um, and then you'll just drag this out and create widget and then add to viewport instead of the print string. So now we have everything we need, but maybe you want to inform the player right as the game starts that he or she can actually press shift to run. Well, actually, then you would do it the same way. Just create an UMG element. Or, you know, just have a game controller screen in your menu before the game starts. So, yeah, forget that. Never mind. <laughs> so, this is it. You know, running and stopping, getting tired, and then running again. So, hope that helped. And, you know, have a great day. Take care.